Hey, we are uh, in the weekend in July sometime, I forget when, and we are literally uh, gonna go down to the Kenai, which is about a three and a half hour drive from us. And we're just now going through Wasilla. Look at these beautiful mountains. It rained all day, last almost the last whole week. It's been raining. So it's a nice to see these mountains again, a little bit of sun. So we're gonna head down there and uh, we're gonna try to catch some salmon on the Kenai River. So got all the kiddos with us today. Priscilla's actually not home. She has uh, gone away from home on a little uh, trip to Florida. So we're just taking off and we're gonna see how many fish we can catch. The salmon are really running. So we're hoping that we can, uh, we can actually get some. Now, if you look closely, you can see there's fresh snow on the mountains up there. So it definitely uh, snowed up there. Wow, once again, we come down here. It is so beautiful, just incredible. Uh, we just had to pull over and show you this. It's kind of disappearing, but there's a rainbow that goes right over that mountain right there. Can you see that? It was really bright just a minute ago, but faded out a little bit. But oh, Alaska's beautiful, guys. If you've never been here, you gotta come. You gotta come see Alaska. We're driving around the Turnigan Arm. This is south of Anchorage. And we're gonna drive all the way around back behind there. And I think we're gonna go in behind that valley over there and end up somewhere way out down yonder, or hundred and some miles away. But look at that, there's the ocean out there. The sun going still kind of high in the sky. It's like 8.30 at night. It's raining down there. Absolutely spectacular. We're heading down to do some salmon fishing like I mentioned in the old RV. Load her up and we're gone. It's home so it doesn't matter where we go. It's just, we just plop where we end up and go sleep. And there the rainbow still is. Wow, so beautiful. Dropping down into Soldatna. The sun is still in the sky over there. And we're dropping down. We're getting close, about 20 miles away now, I think. Big burn through here. Okay, and we're finally here. We're gonna go down and try our hand at some of these salmon. All right, we're finally here. And I got the boys here. Justin and Ethan, we are so excited. We see guys carrying fish out of here like you would not believe. So we finally found a spot. The first step I took, I went in over my waders. The first mistake I made is I don't have chest waders. I only have hip waders, which is a big mistake. Everybody's got chest waders. So now I know, lesson number one. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start fishing. It's almost 11.30 now and look how bright it's out. Outside is crazy. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, we haven't caught any fish yet. But there's plenty of guys that have. But look at all these guys lined up on the bank. Maybe you can't see them, but there's people everywhere. Probably 50 people lined along the bank here. But what a beautiful spot to fish. Hopefully we can catch something. Got, I got a fish. I got my first salmon. Look at that. Sweet. This is so awesome. Okay. Or help me get this thing in. It's biting Dead. I'll get out. Whoa. 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 Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Okay, there. There's... 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 No! Okay, so I just caught this dandy rainbow. I thought it was a salmon. I got it in. And I was worried because I didn't know if I could keep it. So we kept it in the water and I ran to ask different people. And yeah, if I hook, hook it in the mouth, uh, then I can keep it. So I'm really happy about it. I'll get it out of the water now and show you guys. Pretty amazing. I wish the boys would have caught this, but we'll catch others tomorrow. 
This is by far the biggest rainbow trout I have ever caught. I can do this without getting hooked. Wow, that's a beauty. Well, I caught that fish just a few minutes before midnight. And I'm soaked because I fell in and I'm chilly. Ethan's still determined to catch something. So we're letting him go for a few more minutes here. It's actually getting a little dark now. Probably about 12.45 or something, maybe one o'clock in the morning. All right, Justin just caught himself a Dolly Varden. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Good job, Justin. Hold it up so I can see it. Nice. Well, we're down here fishing with about a hundred other people. And we've fished and fished for a couple hours. People around us are catching them, but we're not catching any. I guess they are a lot slower today already than they were a couple last couple days. So I guess that's why maybe. And we don't have the technique down yet either. And there's a technique, we're still figuring it out. We've got a couple, but they've gotten off. But uh, anyway, so goes it. See, check this out. This guy's got one just now. Jack, that's why we don't the beast. Jack. Oh, no, he got off. Oh, something's sad. I got one. Well, yeah. Uh oh, oh no. Okay, there we go. That's where we're going. Yeah! Woo hoo! Finally. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bring the bunker over, Gracie. Oh, thank you. Get that one, man. Okay. Get one of these. Get one of these. Get one of these. Yes, Ethan just got another one. A dandy. Woo! Hallelujah. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, Chloe's got one. Go, Chloe. Go, Chloe. Whoa. Good job, Chloe. Nice going. <laughs> Woo! Get it up here. That is unbelievable. That thing is huge. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Chloe, that's the biggest one. Hey, Mama, Chloe, why I can't see it? You gotta hit on top of the head, Wyatt. On top of the head. Oh, wow. Okay, now Wyatt's got one. Really? Nice one. Uh oh, come up, come up, Babylon. He has 
come on in. Oh yeah, there's a school just gone through here. Good job, buddy. Get the shot back. Oh. Right in the mouth. Get it out of the mouth. Nice one. Perfect. All right, Justin's got another one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Get underneath them, Ethan. Get, get out there. Here you go. You got him. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, look out. Don't fall over. Yep, right in the mouth, too. That's awesome. Wow. That's so awesome. Our limit is six per person. All right, Chloe got a big one. <laughs> nice job. Look at her, Chloe. Oh, <laughs> nice. Wow, big fish. Justin's on him again. All right. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, I got one fish on. Avalon fish on. Fish on. Or not. Nice. Wait, I got this. I got one. I got one. Well, we are just about limited out. I'm limited out, and Justin, Ethan needs to get one more. And Avalon had a big one on, but it got off. She caught it all by herself. But here's our mess of salmon. Wow, 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 wow. It's so heavy, we, I, not one person can't even lift it. <laughs> it's really, really heavy. So we're gonna throw them up here, and we're gonna start filleting them. Okay, so much for a day's worth of fishing. We've been out here since, well, last night we fished until midnight. I got to bed about 1.30, then I got up about 5.30 or so and had to go get a new fishing line because we broke one just at dark. And then around midnight we broke one and then I drove over one this morning with the RV, which was awful. And so I went to Sportsman's Warehouse, got a couple new ones. Anyways, we got a late start. I'm by myself getting five kiddos up and around and breakfast and fed and all the stuff. So and we got down here, I don't know, maybe it was 10 or so, 11 o'clock. And now it's 9 o'clock. We've been fishing solid all day. So um, Justin, Ethan, and I each got a limit. And the other little ones, uh, they all hauled one or so in. So we got like, I think, 20 or something like that. So um, anyways, uh, it's, a, it's a time to head up to the RV and get some food. And here's our gear. These are the two new poles that we bought today. 
and those are the fillets. I filleted them out right here on the dock. Look at that, we got nine. Well, that's those are salmon eggs. We like to eat those actually, believe it or not. And then Avalon took one bag up to the RV already. So there's nine bags of fillets and one bag of eggs. And we just kept a couple of the eggs because there were so many of them. Boys have fun today? Yeah. yeah. Look at all the people in the water. The salmon just keep coming. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. It's a good day. Got to go home and have some food now. Probably cook some of these salmon. All right, time to switch the load. I think probably weighs close to 40 pounds or more. It is super heavy, actually. We are frying some of our salmon, and that's a trout that Justin caught today. No. It looks amazingly delicious. All right, here we go with the gang once again. We're going fishing. We came on a Friday evening. Didn't catch anything but a trout at midnight. Got the three of us got our limit yesterday and the smaller ones helped catch some of those as well. So we could have ended up with, let's say 36 salmon, but we only got like, uh, I think 21 is our limit. And so this morning we're heading back and we can get another six per person. It's a bit of a hike down here. It's probably loaded the way the parking lot looks this morning, but we should be able to find a spot. So Avalon, what was that you wanted for your birthday again? Get waders and a fishing pole. See, now this girl's got her priorities right. <laughs> Hip waders and a fishing pole for her birthday. Wow, look at the size of these uh, co uh, sockeye salmon. They're called red sockeye salmon. Just heavy, big, heavy fish. It is a blessing to come up here. We can each get six of these. They fight like crazy. I cannot believe I'm in Alaska. Stand, standing in the, in the Kenai River in Alaska catching these big salmon. It's just, it's a dream come true. I can hardly believe it. And what's even better, I'm doing it with my kids. It's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Such a blessing, such a gift. These fish are gonna feed us for a long time. Just awesome. Okay, that just wasn't anything to show. <laughs> Good job, Ethan. Ethan just nabbed another one. That's awesome. Yay, they're getting it. Oh my goodness, that was a jump. Bring it in, Ethan. <laughs> it's a circus, rear ring circus. Yay. <laughs> What a deal. Right in the mouth, look at that. He's got a big scar on him. Wow. Nice going, Ethan. All right, fish on. This time it's Justin. You got it, Justin. He's out in the current. It's crazy that he's going upstream like that. Woo, that's a big boy. Oh, look at that. Came off at the very last second. That's how she goes. That's too bad. It's called fishing. Okay, here's all the fish that we got. I gotta start filleting. What a blessing, look at all that meat. Wow. Okay, Avalon just caught another fish. I hope we can get this one in. Woo! Woo! All right, Avalon. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Love it, good job, Avalon. Just cannot believe the size of these fillets. Look at that size of that salmon fillet. This is incredible. I mean, it is absolutely incredible to be cutting these big old salmon. It's just unbelievable.
There's the other side of it. Woo! Wow. Okay, Avalon has a fish. cleaning our salmon this is the next day on Monday evening and we were given a few fish so some night guy just walked up and said hey you look like you have a young family and I'm flying to Minnesota and would you like my fish I said absolutely what a blessing so he had him filleted but he didn't take the ribs out so now I just had him in the fridge and now I'm taking the ribs out and we're packaging everything up here um, we today we had to find a freezer because we took along an ice chest filled that thing up filled our refrigerator, filled our freezer up in here in the RV and it was still wasn't enough room. So last night on the way home, I ran in quickly to Safeway and I bought this little ice chest. Didn't all fit in there, it was a disaster. But we got home, we got the fish on ice mainly, jammed everything in the fridge we could, took some things out and filled it up. And now we're bagging, rebagging everything in freezer bags and putting it in the, in the new freezer that we bought. It was like a secondhand <coughs> freezer, but it's working. So we're happy about that. We got a good deal on it. And look at all these bags of fillets. Justin is bagging here. And here are Ethan and Avalon bagging some. And here we have our little chest freezer that we've got. So happy about that. 